All right, so in last week's Tips and Tricks episode, I talked about a tool called DCEVM, which makes hot code reload or hot swapping of code much easier. But I also mentioned that it has problems reloading Spring or Hibernate configs, for example. Let's have a look at another tool, which works quite well in combination with DCEVM, which is the hot swap agent, and which hopefully gives you Spring reloading, for example. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm back in last week's project, and the only thing that changed is I springify the whole project. So the main method now has, so it instantiates a new application context, which gets built from a my app config class. When you have a look at it, and that is quite important, it's empty, but it has a component scan annotation, which scans the package for spring beans. And then you have the wrapper from last week. It's a simple spring bean and has a method spit a line. And I added a new class called producer, has yell method, and it's also just a spring bean. And what I wanna do is, maybe it doesn't make too much sense from an API standpoint, but what I'd love to do is, uh, during runtime, I'd love to auto-wire the producer into the wrapper. And that's what usually doesn't work because the hot reload capabilities don't work. Something like that. And then later on, in here, I might just call producer yell, and that's it. I'll comment it out for now because we need to download something first, and that is something called the hot swap agent. And it works together with DCV EVM. I always say it wrong. When you Google for hot swap agent, you will see a quick start for JDK 8. It's a bit different for the latest JDK 11, but we'll do the same thing later on in another episode. You need to download the hot swap agent jar file, put it somewhere on your hard drive. I put it to C dev already. And then what you also know from the last episode, you have to run your application with these command line options. So you have to specify the old JVM and also the Java agent. Let's try that out. Go back to our project, open up the run configurations, and in here you paste the old JVM, and then the correct path. In my case, that should be cdev, and then hot swap agent, and then a dash 1.3.0. That should do the trick. Then you debug the project again, like so. And you can already see in the console, loading hotswap agent 1.3.0, unlimited runtime class redefinitions. There's a couple of plugins for a ton of different frameworks, so for Hibernate, for example, for Spring, for Jersey and whatnot. And at the moment, our rapper just spits his line, which is, hi, my name is Slim Shady. And now let's go to the wrapper again and put in the new field, put in the auto wired, and put in the producer yell again. Let's recompile, see what happens. I recompiled, and then in the console, you can actually see that one spring proxy got reset. So the hotswap agent knows the wrapper, something changed, there's a new field auto wired. And in the console, you'll see, hi, my name is Slim Shady but also the producer yelling, get to work. And that is quite nice. All right, so that almost sounds too good to be true. And it is too good to be true because Hotswap Agent is still in early stages of development. And there's a lot of things, a lot of features it doesn't support. And with Spring, for example, it can reload these component scan beans, but not beans, for example, that are registered through XML. You can try it out and it's completely free. And if you feel it does what you need to do, use it. And if not, then you might wanna buy a JREL license or whatever. Enough for today and stay tuned till next Monday.